It is revealed in the fourth episode of the second season of House of the Dragons that Rainey's crucial choice was impacted by several factors. In the last battle of A Dance of Dragons, Sir Kristen Cole rallies the Green Army down the coast to try to isolate Driftmark and Dragonstone from the rest of Westeros. This operation is called the Battle of Rook's Rest. This allows Aemon Targaryen and his dragon Vagar to assault, as he tricks the Rhaenyra Black Faction into sending a dragon rider to hinder the invading force. Although it encounters some obstacles along the way, Cole's plan ultimately succeeds with the help of the many dragons encountered in House of the Dragon. Even though Vagar is the biggest and most experienced, it faces competition from Meli, Rhaenys Targaryen Dragon. Rhaenys and Nelly's length was the strongest of any rider or dragon who participated in the dance, and they held their own against the somewhat bigger Vagar. Rhaenys and Melly swiftly vanquish Aegon Eu and Sunfire, who show up unannounced, inflicting heavy damage to the king's golden dragon. Since the death of Rhaenys Targaryen occurred midway through the season, viewers may have been surprised to see one of the primary characters from House of the Dragon leave. Surprisingly, Rhaenys has a chance to survive after her first confrontation with Aegon and Sunfire. As far as she is aware, the Lord of the Seven Kingdoms may be injured or dead after being knocked to the ground. But then, as if resigning herself to her destiny, she reverses course and pursues Aemond and Vagar again. A lot of possibilities arise from this. Although Rhaenys knows that Vagar is far bigger than Melly's dragon, she decides to take a risk nonetheless and does exceptionally well until she is taken unawares as she exits. Considering that destroying the Greens would be the result of defeating Vagar, this option could have been made with the goal of effectively ending the conflict. But Rainey's decision also seems to have an air of resignation and selflessness about it. The way the conflict is heading, Rainey's may feel it's for the best to attempt to stop it there, or at least her participation in it. House of the Dragon is loosely based on George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood. However, the filmmakers did take some creative license in selecting some elements while remaining true to the story's essential ideas. One such event is the death of Rhaenys, which is presented throughout the books in a very uniform fashion. During the Battle of Rook's Rest, she is attacked in Melis by Aemond and Aegon, who have dragons. She manages to beat Aegon, but is later wounded and dies from her wounds. Even though the narrative is somewhat different, this was also a part of Kristen Cole's works. The remainder of the Battle of Rook changes Aegon's position, which leads to additional changes to the House of the Dragon book in Episode 4 of Season 2. While in the book, he joins Cole and Aemond in their plot to surprise the Black's Dragon Rider, in the TV program he does it all on his own, driven by his need to prove himself. The decision of Aemon to betray Aegon is also original to the show, and has a major impact on how the conflict develops. If Rhaenys had not turned back to confront Aemon, the side loyal to Rhaenyra may have achieved very great success. House of the Dragon feels more than just the loss of a major figure with Rhaenys passing. Following the tragic death of their most formidable dragon rider, the Blacks are likely to extend invitations to further riders in an effort to tame the untamed dragons inhabiting Dragonstone and Driftmark. The loss of Rhaenyra's most loyal council ally has caused tension between Rhaenys and her lord husband, Corlys Valerian. Rhaenys was the one who first won over House Valerian to the Blacks, after all. Corlys has had doubts about Rhaenyra and Daemon since the first season. He will be far more so now that he has lost his wife. The black factions will likely become even more divided once he accuses Rhaenyra of being unconcerned about Rhaenys' death. We will have to see what Corlys does next since his decisions in House of the Dragon might greatly affect the outcome of the conflict.